introducing the Rhino Reto Filet Knife. Let me show you what makes it great. This knife has a flexible blade that makes filleting fish easier and makes perfect fillets. The black coating helps the meat slide right off. The good news is that you can even use it for cutting chicken or turkey breast. With its comfortable handle and strong grip, you'll get clean cuts without much effort. And the finger hold prevents slipping. The vented cover allows airflow to prevent odors. It also protects the blade when storing it or for safely traveling with it. Remember to sharpen the blade before filleting. But depending on your knife skills, make sure to sharpen your knife according to your needs. Feel like a pro and get your Rhino Reto Filet Knife. This is the controller by Gerber. When we started designing the controller, we talked to anglers from Florida to Washington State. We learned about all their different needs, and at the end of the day, what they needed was killer steel that held an edge. The product team selected 9CR stainless steel for its edge retention, toughness, and corrosion resistant qualities. In addition to the steel, the polished surface inhibits corrosion and makes it a lot easier to clean. Second only to the blade steel and the edge retention was the grip. The grip's really important because obviously you're working in a wet situation and fish can be pretty slick. We added control fins on the top here for a really positive place for your thumb when you're going in to make that initial cut into the fish. Whether you're on the boat, at the dock, or in the back country, guide fins will give you unrivaled control. One way that we're able to optimize the handle for the user is strategically placed elastomer overmold. That means we put rubber in places where you need it and left it off of places where you don't. Molded into the elastomer overmold is what we call hydro tread grip. Hydro tread grip allowed us to apply a couple different textures to certain areas to maximize grip while also maintaining your ability to clean this thing off when the work's done. Another really important part of any good fixed blade knife handle is palm swell. This allows full engagement for your hand and actually locks it in place when you want it. In addition to palm swell, we've designed in these recessed areas for the pads on your hand to lock into firmly. This all contributes to exceptional grip in wet situations. The hallmark of a great fixed blade knife is full tang construction. This not only contributes to in-hand feel and balance, but it also lends a great deal of strength between the handle and the blade. You're not going to be able to rock the handle off of the tang of this, it's completely molded around. Each blade length is individually tuned for optimal flex, for more precise cuts and the ability to knock the maximum amount of meat off of each fish. There's a lot of fillet knives on the market that have sewn, woven sheaths. We took a look at that and decided to go a different direction. Fabric sheaths will hold water and funk and make it extremely difficult to clean. You won't run into those kind of problems with this sheath. We designed a molded plastic sheath with generous porting that allows you to easily clean it out. The built-in honing rod on the sheath allows you to touch up your blade during the process of cleaning fish. We've designed in a number of ways to mount the sheath to a backpack, to a belt, or to your pockets. There's a pocket clip and a belt loop. With the controller, you can make short work of messy business. Casking has been respected for its quality fillet knives. This is the new Speed Demon Pro folding fillet knife. It has a textured rubber handle that is slip resistant. It also has a German 4016 stainless steel blade that is razor sharp. There's a lockback mechanism to make sure that it always stays open 
and safe during use. Take this fillet knife any place you go and be confident that it will get the job done. Alaska has some incredible angling opportunities. Salmon, steelhead, trout, and obviously one of my favorites, halibut. You'll notice in this video that the new Speed Demon Pro folding fillet knife can easily process even a large halibut like this. Now this is about a 60 pound fish that was caught recently just outside of Homer, Alaska on Kachemak Bay. The Speed Demon Pro fillet knife might be considered a, a knife for smaller fish, maybe walleye, uh, panfish, that type of thing, because of its folding nature. Now that we've completed the fillet process, we have four beautiful, firm, white meat fillets from this halibut. Now we're going to take a 12-inch slicing knife by Cass King, and we're simply going to remove those fillets from the outer skin by simply working that knife back and forth and removing it carefully from the skin to have one nice complete fillet. Once we've removed the fillets from the skin, then we're simply going to slice each fillet into sections proportionate with different meal sizes. We'll freeze those in uh, freezer bags to make sure they're properly processed and preserved. The new Cast King Speed Demon Pro Folding Fillet Knife can handle all your fillet jobs, both big and small. The faint lateral line running up the fish here that you're going to follow with your knife. Get inside the skin, you'll feel that backbone run along that. As soon as you get up here by the pectoral fin, dive back into that cut you made. Now on a larger fish like this, you can stick with the smaller knife or if you'd like, you go to a slightly longer knife. Having a nice flexible blade here will allow you to make fewer cuts to remove that fillet starting on your backbone cut take the knife in make your first cut and jump over these bones here come down to the first cut you made This time, just to change it up, we'll do this with the shorter knife. And on this larger fish, it actually looks like it's going to be easier to switch over and finish it off with a longer blade. Again, finding your belly cavity all the way through to your fin. And that's how you fillet a large halibut. I'm Alan Norker with Cast King.